So tell me what is involute cycloid. This has some interest unless until you create interest. It would be very, very hard. Just tell me what is involute. Involute, I showed one video. OK, what is involute is if you wind, if you wind or unwind a thread on any shape, okay, let it be any shape. Either it can be a square, triangle, circle. The path, the path traced by the farthest point of the thread, okay, that the curve obtained is uh, involute, involute. Okay, so I have shown one video in the last class where one professor is um, grabbing a thread, having a pen on the tip of the, is trying to unwind it. Okay, as he unwind, uh, wind, a curve is generated, which is a invalid, which is a invalid. Okay. It can be around a circle, around a square, around a triangle. For the scope of the syllabus, we are going only for the circle and square. Okay. Right. Next is cycloid. What is a cycloid? Anyone, any idea? Cycloid. Okay, so what do you do? You take a coin. Semicircle. Uh, the curve generated is semicircle. Now, how you the curve is generated? How that semicircle is getting? Okay, fine. Listen. So the end example is you, you imagine a barrel is rolling. A barrel. You all know what is a barrel, right? The screwed oils. They will put it in barrel. Or, or even this wine, other beverages, they will store in barrels. So roll the barrel, you roll the barrel and you observe the cap, cap of the barrel. Okay. So the path traced by that cap is what is the side line. Or you take a coin, you stick a small uh, bindi, okay, bindi on the outer uh, circumference of the coin and you roll it. So the moment of if you observe the path traced by that bindi, this what is a cycloid. Okay, fine. So, hope so. Involutes and cycloid is clear. We will first of all, we'll try to draw the involute of a square and circle. Let me. Uh, an involute. Of as far outside or team. Okay. Yeah, fine. We'll take this as our question. So draw an involute of a square of side. 40 m. Okay, so this is the given question. So, so since we need to draw the involute of square, first of all, we will try to draw the square outside 40 m. Yes. Tell me what command you will use to draw the square. What command you will use? There are n number of n number of ways in line. which. Can. Yeah, very good. You can use line command. Anything else apart from line? Polyline. Yes, polyline we can use. Any other command? Yes, you can use polygon. Yes, very good. So these are some of the ways in which you can draw. So is the quickest method. Okay. So I'm going for a rectangle. I'm clicking here. <clears throat> you can use polygon or rectangle. Okay, rectangle is more comfortable. So I'm drawing a rectangle. Since, there, since it is a square, the type here 40, cross tab and the type same 40 mm. Okay, you see now 40 cross 40, it is a square. So required square of side 40 cross. So I used the rectangular command, changed 
uh, it says what is so that I got a square. Okay. So name for this square. I'm going to keep this as my A. This will be my B. This will be my C and this will be my D. Okay. Fine. Now tell me winding winding a thread on the outer surface is square. What will be the length of the thread if I am winding one time or I am unwinding a thread from square? What will be the length of the thread? The length is 40 mm. What will be the thread which is wind? How many sides are there total? Four. Four into part. How much? One hundred and sixty. Yes, one. So starting from B, starting the draw line of length one sixty mm. Draw line of length one sixty mm. Something like. That. Okay. If necessary, you can do the diamond. Okay. The total length of this line is. 160. We'll change the color of this line. Not the color. Okay. Yes. Now imagine I'm just unwinding the thread length from A to B. I'm unwinding the thread length from A to B. Just one side I'm unwinding. So from A, just imagine I'm keeping my opening my thread and I'm keeping here. Now tell me what will be the length from A? Only one side I have opened. What will be the length? 40. 40. Okay. So what will happen? My point B will come here. My point B will come here. So imagine you have a point. You have a point on B. Have a point on B. I want to identify the path traced by this point. Okay. What will happen when you open? You will get a smooth curve. Smooth curve. To draw that, use arc command. Start, center, end. The starting point is B. The radius is this AB, which is nothing but the center. So by default, your arc is going in anti-clockwise direction. Can you see it? Following this point. Got it? It's yes, clear sir. to all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this. Open this entire length. Entire length. What will be the length from D a to a, a and D to A. a. To, yeah. D to A plus D to A to B. 80. What, yeah. What will be the length? Twice that of the Side. 80 mm. 80 mm. Got it. Then you go to arc. Start. So the when you open the starting point will be same. But up point. It is not coming beyond this point. Sir, is it possible to drag that full thing a little bit up? Oh, some issue.
think it went beyond the limit. Okay, now it is coming. This is the start. This is center. Yeah, curve is coming in opposite direction. Press control. Press control. Okay, so now you see, I opened the first side, then I'm opening first and second side together. Okay. Next, I'm opening this entire length. This entire length. So 80 plus 40. This is 120. 120. Okay. So now you go to arc, start, center, control, control to get the curve. So repeat the same. You see, I have already drawn the line. I have already drawn the line. So start, center, and okay. So this color which I have drawn now is nothing but your required in value. Required in value. We'll change the color and we'll give some thickness. Okay. We have beautifully drawn the involute of the square outside 40 m. Yes. Any doubts, yes. anybody? No doubts. What we will do, we'll draw one more in your circle. Then we will take a break. So one minute. Yes. So why you took uh, hmm. the extra uh, for I mean. Ah, no problem. Sir. Yes, no. I OK, good. Yeah, just a moment. Okay. If you want any breaks? Should short break, two minutes, three minutes break, or I will continue. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So take three minutes break. Well, then. 